Hi there, BJ here with a June update for you all. It was a crazy month, busy, exciting, hectic, uh, not without drama, all that good stuff. A uh, couple exciting things. We were able to hire two new express technicians for the Honda side and two new express technicians for the Toyota side. We unfortunately did lose one of our uh, Toyota express technicians, but that's because he went over the Honda side to train as an express advisor. So a little change of career path is very exciting. We also launched our newly renovated detail department. We have a whole new website uh, for it. Uh, we're still working on hiring more people. Um, but it's the goal behind it is basically so that we're able to keep everything in house. So instead of having to sublet things uh, like window tinting, uh, ceramic coating, window chip repairs, things like that, we're able to do everything in house. Uh, I recently just got my windows tinted on my new car. They did an awesome job. So we're booked out for months. Uh, we're still looking to hire some new people, um, but they're doing things the right way. They're taking their time. They're making sure they do things right. Uh, it's awesome. I got also, I, I got a puppy. Uh, so that's what's happening here. Uh, this is Louie. He's a little bit uh, tired right now. Needs to sleep. But uh, that's pretty much it. So an exciting month of June. Uh, Always exciting here. Always hard to keep track of everything that's going on. But uh, yeah, we had a fun time. The person that I want to highlight this month uh, to give a shout out to is actually somebody that's no longer with our company. That might sound strange, but we hired Rebel a Toyota technician a little over four years ago. And he recently told us that he was changing career paths. It was sad. Um, I'm heartbroken. Rebel is one of those, one of those people, one of those coworkers, technicians, whatever you want to call it, that does not come around that often. Um, from day one, when we hired him, we knew he was a nice guy. We thought, ah, this guy will probably show up and, you know, put in good effort and work hard. Um, as we see him leaving us now, we realize a chunk of us is is going to go missing. Um, he helped build the family that we have here. He helped build the culture that we have, the environment that we have. Um, he is the epitome of what you want in a coworker, in an employee, uh, in a technician. Um, and as he told us that he was leaving, Yes, we were sad. Yes, we knew we had to hire another technician. Uh, yes, the business has to keep running. Um, but we did not tell him, hey, close the door on your way out. Uh, his whole team of technicians, advisors, uh, the service director, even his mentor technician who's been retired over a year now came back. They all went out to a Brazilian steakhouse, went all out, ate, drank, just laughed together, talked together, celebrated who Rebel is and who Rebel uh, is to our company, to our family. Um, we don't just see our technicians as employees. We really are a family here. Um, it's tough to see Rebel go. We hired a replacement for him. That replacement actually was at the Brazilian Steakhouse as well. Uh, just to show him, hey, this is who we are. This is the type of company that you work for now. Um, we're not just here to make money. Yes, we have to run a business. Yes, we have to make money. Yes, we have to you know, pay all these employees we have. Um, but it's more than that. Um, we're people. We're a family. And Rebel was... He was something else. So I just want to say congratulations, Rebel, on your time with us. And good luck as you move forward to your next endeavors. If you ever want to come back, we're here. Ah, the classic hypothetical, we all know it's inevitable, alien invasion question. Um, I'm going to have to go with, with my Honda folks, Nathan Howie. He is a man of many talents, many skills, 
always willing to do what it takes, I think you would get those aliens. And on the Toyota side, I'm going to have to go with my guy Julio. I'm not sure why, but I feel like you already might have defeated the aliens. So if they were to come back in this hypothetical situation, I think you'd have their number.